Hey Magic Me on YouTube, T1 Bob Ross here, here to paint for you some nice lands. Let's take a look at some of the ones we've seen so far. So far it looks like Delightful Meadow gives you a Bob Ross Plains with those soft fluffy clouds. And <laughs> I can't keep this up, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> But seriously, there are some free basic lands that you can get. And as you see at the bottom of the card, illustrated by the Bob Ross. <laughs> There's a few others here. Let's see. I believe Happy Swamp. Let me let me take a look at the rest of them. Yep, Happy Swamp is another one. Let's see what that one looks like. And let me real quick turn up some audio. That's gorgeous. Look at those warm hues. Look at how it just transitions so smooth. I love everything about that. All right. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> it, it looks like, to me anyway, an autumn setting with either a sunset or like a fire in the background. Probably the sunset because you can see the reflection on the water. All right, so we have uh, another. Let's go for the next one alphabetically, which is Island Wilderness. And these are all from a secret layer, so you can get these in paper. Uh, you can get them for free on MTG Arena. That's cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a really dynamic looking wave. Uh, I appreciate that. Something that you don't see as, or at least I don't see, as often in islands as you would expect. Island art. That's nice. Right, so then, with two more, of course, there's Move Mountains. And that one looks like... Okay. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've seen... In, in, a, in a Bob Ross video, I'm pretty sure I've seen him do something very similar to this, because immediately, if I didn't see the name, this reminds me of Bob Ross. Um, just... I, I don't know. <laughs> I watched him a good bit when I was younger. And then the last one is Tree Friend. Let's see. Not that I was ever any good at painting, but it's fun. And then we have this forest, which is the fluffiest looking forest <laughs> I've seen. I like that one tree that's hiding. It's playing hide and seek. Thinks you can't see it. Alright, so with that cool little feature out of the way. Those are available until, I think it's December 14th. Yep, December 14th. You can use those codes and get them for free. Cool. In the meantime, I was going to play uh, a few different decks. I've been brewing a few different decks. That's hard to do on Arena because of the wild card economy, uh, but here's the first one I'm going to be trying out. So this is Mono Black Cycling. There's a couple different ways you can build this, and a lot of this you'll notice, especially at the top end of the curve, is just cards that I have. And so there could be more optimal, uh, obviously there would be more optimal builds. For example, I have one Thoughtseize, I think that should be more. Uh, I have one Archfiend of Ifnir, which is an actual win condition, and I have one Hollow One, which is an actual win condition. Um, I would like to have, I, I guess, Maybe Hollow One, mm, maybe, maybe doesn't have to be in here, but no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang on to this. It's a creature that cycles and that rewards you for cycling. And with uh, cards that cycle for one mana, you effectively reduce its cost, because you're, you're going to pay one to cycle, but you save two. Uh, it isn't as broken as something like Vintage, uh, but it's still pretty impactful. Oh, yeah, I should go into what the deck is doing. Cycle, 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 Okay, there are a few, as you can see, that aren't cycling cards. Um, removal, like Blood Chief's Ascension. I have escape cards. Uh, cheap escape cards only. The cheap ones we can play early and then use the cycling to uh, escape pretty readily. And so there's Cling to Dust for card draw and graveyard removal. Mogus Favor for re uh, removal. And it comes back pretty quickly. Uh, Thoughtseize because it's a good black card. I would have more. I don't have any more. Actually, out of rare wild cards for right now. Uh, easy Prey, because removal, more removal. 
Vile Manifestation as an actual win condition in the deck. So this is an 0-4, except it's actually like a 10-4 uh, by the time that it actually gets the ball rolling. Memory Leak for hand attack and it cycles at 1. Suffocating Fumes to kill your opponent's creatures, only your opponents, or at least make them weaker. Unburden for its mind rot, but it has cycling in it. A uh, slightly more restrictive cost, but we're mono black, so we don't care. Uh, Wander and Death to get creatures, which you're cycling creatures away. So if you have, for example, to cycle Vile Manifestation or a creature will come to in just a bit, you can get it right back. And if not, you can just cycle it. So that's pretty alright. Uh, Woe Strider is another escape uh, card. You, so three mana, you get it, a 3-2, and a 0-1. And if it happens to die, uh, then you can get it right back later on. Gives you some inevitability. Uh, Abandoned Sarcophagus rewards you for playing cycling cards. If a cycling card goes to the graveyard from anywhere, or and it wasn't cycled, then you have to exile it. But you can cast cycling cards from your graveyard, so you can cycle and then immediately play it. For example, with four mana, Vile Manifestation cycles and then comes back from the yard. So that seems alright. Archfiend of Ifnir, which cycles and it flies, is a 5-4 for 5, and when you cycle or discard, which we, we do, a little bit, I think it's safe to say, uh, you get to put a counter on each a creature your opponents control. Yeah, this thing is fun, and it's outside of lightning strike range, you fatal push, yada yada. It's it's good. Whore of the Broken Lands, though, is a 4-4 four -four that can potentially get significantly bigger than that. Its cycling cost is only one, though, so that helps us there. Hollow One, Void Beckoner as a 3 of. I'm actually a little iffy on this. We don't have any reanimation in the deck, uh, except, I guess, Abandoned Sarcophagus. And it cycles for 3 mana, but it puts a Death Touch counter on a creature. As you can see, we don't actually have a lot of creatures in the deck, so Void Beckoner could very well go and, be and become something else. Since we're not doing reanimation, maybe that's right. Uh, but we only have, as I recall, I think it's 21 lands, or I could just count real quick. Let's see, nine, okay, yeah, 21 lands. Uh, four Baron Moor, four Desert of the Glorified, these just come in tapped and cycle. One Castle Lockthwain, which cares about us having a swamp. Conveniently, we have 10 swamps, uh, which might go in for the, yeah, let's, let's change that real quick. We, we'll change that for the Bob Ross one that we just got. And two Witch's Cottage. Uh, which enters tapped unless you control three or more swamps, which is actually a thing in this deck. Uh, we uh, we won't always have Witch's Cottage online on turn four, uh, but because we put so many creatures into our yard pretty readily, it makes sense to use it as a good payoff. Plus, it itself is a swamp if we need to go that route. So now, let's switch this around, add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and take out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. While I do appreciate the border for the Unlands more, I appreciate the art for this one more. That's cool looking, and we get to paint a nice soft sky and beautiful golden water. Doesn't that just make you happy? <laughs> All right. I guess it's time to try this deck out. Bearing in mind that it's not in an optimal configuration, uh, let's try it out. So 20 creatures, 20 blue or black spells. Let's not play. Oh, we'll do that one next time. This is a sneak peek for next video. Uh, and we have more on top of these two. More to come. Uh, but let's definitely not play ranked until we get a chance to try this thing out and optimize it. Uh, although, to be fair, right now I don't have anything to lose. I'm at plat 4, at the bottom of plat 4. So I guess I can try it. There's no point in not trying, right? I don't lose anything. Let's see, so opponent goes first, uh, let's, I would like to go, we could cycle horror first, but I'd like to be, or we could do Thoughtseize. We'll see what kind of deck, what their turn one play is, but it might go turn one Thoughtseize, turn two, uh, cycle horror, and then see if we get a land, that'll determine what we do with desert. Hello! Okay. We're definitely Thoughtseizing here then. Oh, okay. Okay. Huh. Fairy Vandal. That would get out of hand awfully quickly. Alright. 
So they can play 1-3 at the end of our turn, and they will. Let's see if we can hurry to find something. And they have the two islands that they need anyway. Gee, I wonder what they should do. Oh, they're doing it now? Okay. I don't know about that, Chief. Alright. Let's cycle real quick. We did not find the land, so let's put that in tapped. Okay. And now we start taking a beating here. We're gonna take three, and they'll get to draw a ton of cards. This is not exactly ideal. We can start using Memory Leak if we find something this turn, but I don't know, maybe I should dig for Blood Chief's Ascension. Or, um, the 2CMC Cycle Eliminate. From Ikoria. Oh, they're just doing one. They're holding up black mana. I guess. Because they had an island. They could have played both. So yeah, Woe Strider is fine. Ooh, nah. Well, um... So far, anyway, they don't have plus one, plus one counters. Uh... Do I want to play Vile Manifestation yet? I kind of do, to be honest. So that I can go Vile Manifestation, Desert, and then use Memory Leak? Mmm, but they can draw so many cards, and this... Uh... Mmm... I don't know about that. Let's see... Let's go Cycle. There we go, Easy Prey. That's what we want to see. Alright. Only 21 lands, but we're kind of getting there. Now, this is a counterspell deck, though, I assume. So, uh... Okay. Play if they play the Curious Obsession, they'll get an extra card, but at least we'll kill a creature that dumped everything into a single creature. Uh, no, they're putting on a black guard. That's... The smart thing to do, of course. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh boy, okay. Um... Alright, they tapped out. Do they have a land? A tapped land, okay. Yeah, I hate to say, but we, we have to kill you first. Alright. Oh, this is an instant, isn't it? It's it's okay, they were tapped out. That's the right time to do it. Alright. Here goes nothing, I guess. And that's game. I'm gonna say good game. They got me. They got me. Yeah, that'll do it. We have a decent amount of removal. Blood Chief's Ascension, Mogus's Favor, though that wouldn't have helped too much there. Well, Blackguard. And uh, four Easy Prey, I think it was. So that could have gone a bit better. You know what? Since we have nothing to lose, let's try it out in ranked. After that showing, what could go wrong, I guess? There we are. Okay. Um. Hmm. Keep. Yep. Play that first. It is a swamp. This is not a particularly quick start. Alright, cycle. Confuse the opponent as to what on earth is going on. Alright, so Mogus Favor probably does absolutely, yeah, does nothing in this matchup. Nothing at all. That probably won't do too much either, to be fair. Uh, I guess we'll just cast a Vile Manifestation. A cast a 1-4. This 
uh, we can cycle easy prey, and or we can play another manifestation. That's probably smarter. But we do have to worry about Ugin. Not really. Not really. Um, suffocating fumes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is there anything I can cycle for one? Not right now there isn't. As much as I would appreciate that, not right now. Hmm, okay. Play this first. Alright. Ow. Why am I saying ow? Alright, they're already at Ugin. There's Ugin. Alright. Well, that's not good. That's no bueno. The fact that I didn't find lands earlier is a bit of a problem. Alright. Let's see if we can cycle you. Alright. What else can I find? A desert? Cyc let's do the desert then. I don't have anything that comes down for one anyway. Alright, so I'll take three. We're going to try to get out Hollow One, which can't be removed by Ugin. There's a way to deal with it, though. Uh-oh. Okay. Hmm. Cycle that. Hmm. Nope. I guess we'll cycle Unburden then. Memory leak. Okay, okay. That's a thing, at least, I suppose. Not really. Alright. As expected. And they're one mana shy from being able to do it again. We're not going to win against Mud, but I will try. I will be trying my darndest. Ah, right, there we go. Trying my darndest. All right. Interesting. So just popping them in again. Okay. And it takes uh, four... Let's see. Yep. Yeah. Still takes four to activate. Okay. Okay. Um, we're dead. Because even if I block with this, we're in a bit of trouble. We're in a bit of a pickle. That's an enchantment. Um, hmm, okay. We don't have enough for easy prey, you see. Pass. So all I have to do is just animate the barons and attack. But, again, we have nothing to lose, so we'll play it out. Or they could do that. That works. Good game. Give them the good game. That's a, that's a tough start for any deck to beat. <laughs> See? We had nothing to lose. Woo! What was that? Turn 4 Ugin, I think? Yeah, turn 2 Mindstone, turn 3 Hedron Archive, turn 4 Ugin. That's... Hmm. That's tough. The single instance of Hollow One at least gave me some hope. So you do actually want to have some number of Hollow One in your deck. Right now, I don't have as many Cycle for One Mana cards as I probably should. Uh, part of that is because I have a lot of lands that come in tapped. Uh, but, to be fair, that ought to be higher. If I had more, it would be higher. So, Horror of the Broken Lands, for example. Mythonomicon. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sure. We get to play a, a weird, a different game. And pass. Give him the big hello. Okay. Hmm. Hiya. You know what? Let me just save him the trouble. 
Unburden. Okay. So, do we want to kill this thing now? I think that the answer is probably not, right? Uh, but we can use prey upon to kill, or easy prey, prey upon, easy prey to kill them. We're definitely playing that. I don't know if it's worth it on just little old you, to be honest. I'm not so sure. Depending on what they play, we could also go memory leak, cling to dust. Alright, Soulscar. Uh, a goblin that matters. Snoop. Show me Snoop. Oh, there's... Okay. That's a weird one. Okay. Um... Hmm... Unburden just takes away the two... Uh, if we were to cast that normally, that just takes away the two best cards in their hand. So we could cycle Unburden here, then try to play Sarcophagus, but that's not going to actually work, is it? Because at, at this point, we... oh... We could go Easy Prey here, then Sarcophagus, then we could cast Easy Prey again, get an extra Easy Prey. But, during that one turn that we have off, we're going to be in trouble, aren't we? Um, still, it, I'm going to try this out. It'll give us an extra easy prey later on, at least. Oh, and we even found it. Nice. Okay. No creatures to use for it yet, though, unfortunately. Um, or do we do Unburden? Or Memory Leak? What does this take? Yeah, Memory Leak for now. Unburden is better when they have fewer cards in hand. They have fewer choices to make. Alright, what's the next thing I have to worry about here? Warchief gives haste and makes them cheaper. Matron tutors. Yeah, we want to take Matron here. Actually, because Matron will turn into any other card. Uh. There's no sorry option, apparently. I, I do think that that's the right choice. Given what they had, I think Matron's the right choice. Okay. Plus, we have something that can deal with a board of 1-1s. One we just need to find it. Actually, I think it's a 4 of in this list. Once we find it, we'll be okay. But until then... Ooh. Until then, who knows? So we can use Cling to Dust on a Memory Leak to draw another card. Alright, take two. Alright, maybe I'll even find it now. That would be brilliant. Alright, Suffocating Fumes, I think it's called? Okay, so we can go... Cycle Memory Leak. Let's see... Oh, they only have two cards in hand. Yeah, okay. Hey, there we go. Hey, there we go. I mean, we're definitely not out of the woods yet, but we could do with we could do worse. All right, and now we can play Cling to Dust on one of their cards. All right, and not have to target our graveyard in order to draw a card. Vile Manifestation. All right. I mean, we can definitely live with that. <sighs> Sarcophagus, when we actually get enough mana, will be silly. But until then, I'm a little bit worried. Oh, okay. That's a thing. Ooh, that's definitely a thing. Yeah, we take seven. Let's see what I get here. Cards in the graveyard is five. That's counting cling, though. So one more, and we'll be able to cast cling for extra three uh, life. Of course, we need the mana, too. Hmm, okay. Can we please get suffocating fumes? That's not it, but that's pretty cool, actually. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Yeah, okay, let's go. So it should be a four, four? Everything except cling? Yep, all right. Cool. 
Uh... Hmm. We can use Easy Prey on the Prospector to avoid issues with Top Deck Muxus. Wow. There we go. You want to do the sack it for red shenanigans? They're they're counting. See if they might have enough if they just keep swinging. That is correct. All right, so this won't kill War Chief unless I uh, make it escape. Hello. Yeah, they said that earlier. It's fine. Let's see, what do I have for one mana in here? Nothing. Alright, if I could find another land, I could cast Easy Prey again on the same turn. Uh, so we will start by cycling. Here we go. Oh, they're being a jerk, I see. Well, Wander and Death is fine. Well, we don't have any creatures, actually, do we? Hmm, okay. Monk ass. Um... How much do we need? Okay, so we don't have enough to do that this turn. Uh... Yes. Sarcophagus. Let's pass. Let's see if we can start making this a thing. A hollow one. Okay. So we have access to all of them. Let's do... Let's go for, um, if we attack, we can just get them to use up a 1-1, which is, I guess, fine. Then we can go easy prey, easy prey. No, they, they could actually do some serious blocking, though. That's right. That's right. I is big dumb. I is big dumb. Hmm, okay. It's okay if it gets me. Yeah, I know, I know. Let's cycle first. Then we can cast it. Yeah, they're just trying to get me to misplay. It's okay. It's okay. It's their prerogative. Alright. You can cast... May, you may cast spells that have a cycling ability from your graveyard. Uh, and then if it would go anywhere, pass to attackers? Sure. Alright, let's see what they have. Shock. Interesting. Interesting. I don't dislike that, but that's not as consequential as they might be thinking. Alright, so it's exiled. Okay. So then we'll cast it right back next turn. Ooh! Ooh! Alright. There we go. Let's see. And they don't have enough for Mogus. Chain Whirler. Okay, so we take one. And now we need to kill this thing. Or, I guess we don't. Let's see. We can just cast Hollow One. Yeah, let's just cast Hollow One. Alright. 420. 420. Ooh, another Chain Whirler. Yeesh. Ooh, well, we have to block here. That's unfortunate. 
That's okay, we get to cast it right back. But, but, let's see. Can we actually kill it? We can't. Um, Cling to Dust puts us back to six. We could go Mogus Favor is three, and that does enchant it for good. So let's see. Oh, but we don't have enough mana for both. Also, where'd you go, bud? Oh, that's right. It went. It didn't go from cycling. That's right. Actually, that's interesting. All right. Well. Well. I think that this is going to. Let's see. Wander in death. Let's see. Target you. Choose five. One, two, three. Four, five? Oh, wait a minute, it didn't hit unburden. Five? Yeah. That's the first time I've ever muted somebody. Let's see, so we can go Mogus Favor. Oh, I thought I muted them. Huh. Nope. Oh, I did. It just turned into hello. For some reason. It happens. What can you do? Mythonomicon. Oh, wait a minute! I know who that is! I know who that is! Um, the last time that I played Land Destruction in Standard, the last, like, session, Mythonomicon was one of the people that I, I got the perfect KO against. Not perfect, because it was only lands gone, but still. There we go. Because I remember, it's either that name or it's very similar to that name. But, I don't remember the, em the emote spamming, so maybe it is a different person. Maybe I'm misremembering. I'm pretty sure, though. Yeah, it's pretty rare that I get emote spammed. Um, I'm not usually inclined to think that it's a person being a jerk, but when it's your go... Unfortunately, like, I think your go is one of those that could go. It doesn't have to be there. <laughs> Alright. It's too often taken as being obnoxious, especially when it's, well, when it's spammed, of course it's obnoxious. Of course it's the person trying, maybe it's them trying to put you on tilt. Things like that. Let's see. Hearthstone, to their credit, has been doing a pretty good job of managing when emotes start to get used improperly. So, I appreciate that. Oh, we'll give him a hello. Noise. Detenshi. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, a pyromancer. Okay. Well, we can kill it. Alright, so we'll drop a Mogus Favor on it. Save the easy prey for a bigger card. Probably. Boop. And it. And play. Alright. You know, something like a, a Steamkin, a Swift Spear, not Swift Spear, a Soulscar Mage, something like that. A one mana prowess red creature. There we go. I knew what I meant to say. Um Let's go let's cycle Wandering Death now. So we can try oh excuse me, to get a land. And we did. Alright. That's not where you want to see that one, but we have three lands now. That's fine. Okay. Lightning Strike. Ow. Okay. Raw Lightning Strike. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um. Let's see if we can get an actual creature down pronto. Otherwise, this is going to get out of control. Alright, so what's in the graveyard right now? Just the one? Um. I'm actually going to cast Unburden. This is probably not the right thing to do. I'm supposed, in all likelihood, I'm supposed to cycle here so I can dig for Vile Manifestation or something. Uh, but this can help to clear the way. Although, given what I just hit, Shock Spike Field Hazard, maybe not. Experimental Frenzy, ooh. Uh, wait a minute. You can't play cards from your hand, right? You can't play, okay, lands or cast spells from your hand. So that's still fine with Chandra. 
Hey, that's a combo. Alright. We'll try it out. This is going to hurt. We're about to take seven here if we actually get to kill her now. Hmm. I don't have anything to remove planeswalkers other than damage, though. Um, unfortunately. Well, no, that's wrong. I have blood chief. There's one blood chief's. Uh, not Ascension. Blood Chiefs. I keep saying Blood Chiefs Ascension, don't I? Whatever that one is. The one mana, but sometimes four mana. Sorcery. Ah, okay. And do it again. Flame of Keld. Okay. Ooh, okay. I dig it. I dig it. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Alright. It is in the yard, so we can get it back. Yes, take action. Let us... Cycle to put it in our hand and then play it out. Okay, we have a 4-4 now. That Chandra is getting really dangerous, though. I think we have a fit. Ooh. Yeah, Chandra's gonna kill us if we... Yeah. I'm gonna decline, let them get the cards. They have an Experimental Frenzy out, so for right now they can't use the cards. At least there's that. Alright, another Pyromancer, ow. Alright, double easy prey, swing in. There's a catch here, there's obviously a catch. There's a shock off the top or something. Something. We can't not block though. All right, what you got? What do you have, opponent? What's it going to be? Ow. Okay. Well, well, have they used Chandra yet? They have not, right? And... Ow. All right. Do they have shock off the top? Every single thing in their deck. Let's see what... Alright. Well, not exactly. We could hit a Pyromancer to go to four with Kling. Uh, but otherwise, not so much. Uh, let's destroy you. Alright. See if I'm just dead. Shock targeting me. Kling targeting... Uh, where'd you go? Oh, it, right there. There you are. We're still dead, but I'm trying. I'm doing my best. Uh, what do they have that might have haste? I'm going to pretend that they don't have anything. All right, so they can pop the experimental frenzy and then just kill me off the top. Ooh, or bone crusher. That works. That works. It's odd to say because I haven't won yet, but. For a budget deck, for one that's missing plenty of cards, I guess it's performing better than I had been expecting. Um, but let's make a quick little change here, because I, I obviously need to do something. And one thing I need to do, let's look at our common. We have three commons left. Ooh. So if I do this, it'll, it'll uh, cut me off of commons for a little while, until I start opening packs again. I need more one mana cycling. So these are commons. And I need to take cards out to make room. So let's take out Void Beckoner. It's just too expensive. Let's craft those and take it back, baby. All right. Let's try it again. That just that looks like an easy improvement that I honestly should have made already. The, the fact that it gives Death Touch, the Void Beckoner gives Death Touch, is not substantial enough to warrant it, I suppose. Yeah. Ooh. On the draw, I'll take it. It has a land, it has cycling one. I'll take it. It's not ideal, though. For sure. Alright, let's see if we can hit another land here. That would be nice. That would be awfully nice. 
if we do, then we can go, if it's a swamp, we can go uh, thought sees memory leak. And we did. Okay. So let's take a look at what you have, what you have going on. Ooh. Reservoir Celebrant. Hmm. No creatures yet except for you. I think I'm supposed to take the means and not the end. Hmm. Okay. Let's take that. Right. And we can wait. I'll give him the hello, because I think I missed it earlier. Alright. Ah! Found it anyway. Eh, it happens. Alright. Cycle Horror of the Broken Lands. Alright, another land? So I can go Memory Leak here? Yeah! Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Wanna use that Village Rights now? I, I would hope that they would not. You never know, but I would hope. Eventually we'll have to do something about this. Otherwise we're not going to actually win. Well, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Alright, so let's use Reservoir. Take Reservoir, I should say. Alright. Let's see. And we only have one creature in the yard right now. We'll have two for Horror and just, or uh, for Wander in just a bit. Ow. Poke. Alright, I've been poked. Let's go... Hmm... Let's see... Hello? Yeah, oh. Maybe, did I miss... No, I said hello this game. I did. I remember. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't say hello. Aw, oh, they're being a jerk. They're saying I'm taking a while. Aw. Alright. I'll say nice. <laughs> Alright, so this cycles for two. Memory leak is one. Though I think I want to hang on to that. Let's do it one more time this turn so we can find a land. There we go, we missed it. It happens. Ooh, there you are. So, Easy Prey will not take Vito out. Hmm. Maybe this is the infinite combo deck. Like the, the life gain, the life drain combo? That might be what's going on here. Alright. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do another memory leak. Take a look at their hand. Ah! Okay. So if we take... Let's take the Citadel. Because the Citadel, um, if they find a land, they can cast that, and they can kind of just go crazy this game. If they pl find a land and play it, then Unburden will just take two cards. The only two cards. Okay, so they, there's the Unwelcome. Grim Tutor goes and gets something. And then we can take it with Unburden, right? Let's see if they want to attack for one. Alright. Got him. Alright. Bolus Citadel. Hey, we got there. We got there. Alright. There is a little bit of, is it schadenfreude, where you uh, take pleasure in, some, in this case, somebody losing that, that was being a jerk to you. Uh, a little bit. A <laughs> little bit? No, it's fine. It might have just been playful when people are doing that. It might have just been playful. Especially since that time they weren't going, your go, your go. It was the, uh, the sleeping icon. Though, to be fair, you don't have the sleeping icon unless you have the mastery pass. Alright, you can go first. Let's say, I don't know. This is fine. I mean, it starts off with Plains Thought... Oh, Plains. Swamp Thought Seas. 
You can't go wrong with that. Oh. That may have been wrong. I maybe should have taken the Wrath. Alright. I'll have a chance to deal with it later on. Let's play... Manifestation gets to live through Kaya's Wrath, but they can't do that next turn anyway. Hmm. Alternatively, we could cycle Suffocating Fumes. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's cycle it. I think. I think that's right. Because otherwise we're just going to have a 0-4 out anyway. Okay. And then that happens. Uh, let's let them, let's let them decide. And that way when we cycle, we'll have one card that they won't know about. And then two after we draw. I think it's pretty clear what my deck is trying to do at this point. Pretty clear. Alright. Ooh, wait a minute. Did I... was I passing? Apparently... Oh, I hit the enter key instead of space. That's my... that's... that's on me. That's my bad. Oops. Oops. Alright. Well, now we can play one of them, at least. It's a 1-4 for now. They didn't... Let's see... Alright, this is okay. We do have to worry about the Wrath, but we'll hold back on the other manifestation until they fire it off. Or, I guess we'll have to deal with this. Alright. No leak just yet. I... No, I should have waited! Jay, why'd you do that? You should have waited! The fewer cards they have in hand, the uh, the fewer choices they have for it. Elspeth. Ooh, okay. Alright. Alright. Just don't know about my suffocating fumes, though. Alright. Let's play that out. Sure. Sure. Hey, there it goes. There it goes. Make some more. Alright. Let's wander. Get out. Get back both. Oh, that's right. That's right. That, never mind. Okay. Genius. Genius. For some reason I was thinking I had another, but it's exiled. With Baffling End. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I guess we could leave her as a sitting duck. cycle first. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk. Alright. And then we'll play it out. Alright. There we go. Archfiend of Ifnir wouldn't be so bad. Okay, there's a catch. What's the catch? And play Elspeth back? Essence Extraction, okay. And now how many do I have? I have two. I have one. I can count. Alright. Let's play it again. We'll eventually get them with that, maybe. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. If it dies, so be it. Alright. 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 And... 
and another one. Okay. Please find a land. No? Okay. So let's wander in death. One, two, get them back. Alright. We'll eventually find a, you know, a, uh, a land for this Archfiend. I want to be careful about playing out both vile manifestations because I do have to worry about. Um, oh, this might work. Uh, I do have to worry about um, another Kaya's Wrath. Which can definitely come and get me if I'm not careful. Although, they're tapped out with one card left. Might be able to make this work. How much do you cycle for? Uh, we're not cycling you anyway. Alright. Do you have an opponent? Okay. Once I can get this Archfiend online, should be okay. Alright, I swear to God. Do you have another one? We're doing this. We're absolutely doing this. Oath of Kaya. Yep. Ah. Uh, Alright. Cycle. Kind of. Hmm. I mean, we'll take it. Alright. And the castle's tapped, so... Okay. Ah, stop it. You stop it. And that's exiled, so there you go. There you go. Can we get her? I say we go for it now. Although, I actually should have played that first. Or played the cling to dust and then the land. Small misplay. There's part of the reason why. Alright. Well, they have no more cards in their hand. They could top deck an answer. They could top deck like a Kaya's Wrath or something. But otherwise, we might get there. Maybe. Just maybe. Alright. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Why am I doing this now? Why on earth did I just do that then? Genius. You genius. That's, that's one word for it, I suppose. Alright. Well, I mean, it, even when you mess up, it counts, I suppose. Now, I should play something else to uh, conclude this quest a little bit more quickly. That was a lot of creatures. That's the most I've gotten, as many as prior, and we're still... Well, I mean, we can go a little further. Although, now I'm going to take it to the casual queue, if that's alright. If that's all right with you all, I'm going to take it off of ranked. <laughs> Play a serious deck when it comes to ranked. You know, as you do. Hmm. I forgot to mention, the coffee this time around is a Seattle's Best Very Vanilla. It's uh, Evangeline's favorite kind of coffee. My six-year-old now, just, just turned six, uh, likes likes coughing. Now, it's caffeinated, so she can only have a little at a time. Uh, let's, let's do this. Alright, so we'll start off with the memory leak, of course. Ooh. Oh, it's XX Moses XX. Wait till they get done resolving their mulligan, and then I'll say hello. We need an emote for, I like your name. <laughs> I like your tag. Hello! And pass. Alright, remember Jay, don't hit enter. <laughs> hit space. Ah! Alright, that's a, that's a bad habit of mine. Alright. We definitely don't want to do it yet. We want to wait until they resolve the scry first. Give them as little information as possible. 
Absolutely. Okay. Well, there's a vile manifestation. Uh, I guess we can start getting the beats on sooner rather than later. If we can find another untapped black source, unburden would be nice. Well, I, can, I guess it's fine to do it turn four. Yeah, it's fine to do it turn four. Okay. Hope. We're just doing this all main phase. It doesn't matter. There we go. Alright, and then we'll unburden them and increase their power by one each. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Blast Zone's a problem, I would say. I would say. Alright, we're about to have enough for Blood Chief's Ascension, so let's do this main phase so we get more damage. Alright. While they do get to remove the two worst cards that are still in their hand, Mud is a deck that sometimes has... Oh, was that a Paradox Engine? Okay. Is a deck that sometimes has a bit of an issue with... Um, you know, they have to assemble all the pieces in order for it to work. If they don't hit that critical math, uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, well then, all right. Well, let's wander. A little more damage, and there's an arch fiend. Fire. Theoretically, we could beat them next turn, but Forsaken Monument will gain them life. There's an Ugin. All right. Well. Land, 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 minus two. No! Okay, minus, jeez, jeez. Oh boy, oh boy. That's, that is a land, that is fair. Cycle? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, what can you do? So we'll go to 17 here. Ugin will do his thing. We can definitely still lose. Guardian Idol is still a, a problem, potentially. And Blast Zone is still a problem now. Alright, there's a 4-4. Four, four. Jeez. Alright, ow. Uh, note the fact that this is a sorcery, so we can't use it to kill an idol anyway. Given that... Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst. Cast with Kicker, targeting the only thing it can target, and try to keep ourselves in the game. Just a little bit longer. We're still going to lose, but we can fight like heck first. Alright. Animate both Guardian... Oh, jeez. I don't think we can come back from that. I... I have a sneaking suspicion that we cannot. Somehow, I got that impression. Alright. Little bit longer. Little bit more. We can do this. Oop. The deck has its moments. It's cheap. It's pretty wild card friendly, as you can see by the fact that I just took cards I just happened to have. Granted, I've opened a ton of Ikoria, so this maybe is easier for me than the average Magic player. Uh, I basically have all the commons and uncommons for Ikoria at this point. Uh, so, that's not the hardest thing in the world, thankfully. But, Amonkhet Remastered, it's not a standard set. It's something that people don't open too often, especially now, so... I... I guess. Alright. <laughs> I guess it's not the easiest thing in the world. I don't want to take a risk on Swamp Cycle Baron Moor, hoping we get another land. I would rather play the Baron Moor tapped. Play it first. Okay. Another issue with this deck, though, is... Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go do my little ritual here. Who is Archon07? I like the name, by the way. Let's see who that is. Uh, not anybody I can find on here, and I, I always check when someone auto-concedes against me like that. Not just concedes, but concedes immediately to see if it might be somebody that I know. Uh, it's, it's happened a couple times. 
Let's see. Nope, I can't find them. All right, so maybe, uh, I don't know who that is then. Ta-da. All right, Wolf and the Sheep. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Okay. Yeah, let's hang on to this. This is all right. I'm going to play the Desert first. Desert tapped. Because that's the harder one to cycle. Another thing I considered is Stitcher Supplier to help fuel the graveyard for Wanderin' Death and Vile Manifestation. Hmm. Okay. Oh, forgot to say hello, didn't I? Uh. Let's just play that out and pass. There's nothing. Everything here we can do at instant speed, including cycle the lands. Not this again. Not this again. You stop that. Alright. Well, we don't need suffocating fumes. That does actual nothing in this matchup. Actual, factual nothing into draw another one. Yeah, if you're not fighting a creature deck, you tend to have a few dead cards. Or more than a few. Let's go... Desert, tapped, pass. Right, and we'll cycle the other one in just a sec. Alright. I think it's pretty clear what my deck is trying to do. That's interesting. Okay, cycle that, instead of doing it at the end of turn like we're supposed to. Another Suffocating Fumes. The deck is trying to tell me something, I think. Uh, maybe it's just me. All right. All right. Let's do it now. It doesn't, it doesn't actually matter. Next turn, regardless of what they discard here, they'll have enough to do what they want to do. Uh, we're looking at the opponent needing Land Ugin as the last two cards, plus you know, being amongst the card they draw. Like, amongst those three cards. Alright, so let me rephrase that. Four cards in hand, and then the one we don't know about on the top of the deck. If amongst those they have Land Ugin, we're just, uh, technically speaking, boned. It's a very technical term. Uh, wrecked. Shrekt. Disrespect. Alright. Do they have it? They have Mystic Forge. Okay. Okay. We're not dead yet. Well, not dead yet! But we're about to be able to cast this Horror of the Broken Lands, which isn't something you say every day. I cast that in Limited, and that's about it. <laughs> okay. Huh. We can do this now. I'm gonna do one now. Oh, great. Right on time, buddy. I would like to be able to take this top card. Not that it matters, they have a Mystic Forge out. Alright, let's play this. So we can try for some Horror of the Broken Land shenanigans. And pass. Alright, Mystic Forge. Okay, nope. Ah, uh, they're gonna draw. Oh boy. Oh boy! Now deciding on Forge. Okay. This just gets worse. I like that they held on their upkeep. That, that's something that doesn't get done often enough on here. Oh, Inventor's Fair. Oh! Okay, Paradox Engine combo? Maybe, or Planar Bridge combo? Now, they don't even need to do a combo. They can just Planar Bridge get Ugin. <laughs> That's silly, but you can do it. You can do it. Ay, 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 ay. I also haven't seen any manifold keys, so probably not a combo. Probably not what they're up to. Probably not. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. What could that last card be? Don't know. Okay. I should have hit Buried Ruin as a card. I should have hit the artifact. Not that it matters too terribly much. Okay, well we can get out one of our win cons. 
All right, where's Eugene? All right, let's play this tap so we have more uh, instances of being able to trigger horror just from what we have in our hand. Oh, there we go. We can make this a 10-7. Not that it matters, because they can block. There's Paradox Engine. Okay. Okay. Maybe this is a combo. Maybe they are doing something. Or maybe it's a different combo I'm not familiar with. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I mean, Paradox Engine is in here. It could just be for value, with Mystic Forge and a bunch of mana. Oh boy. Oh boy. I play this thing in Vintage, by the way. Paradox Engine? I play that in Vintage sometimes. From time to time. With uh, Captain Sisse. The combo in that deck is Paradox Engine, Tap Sisse, or, well, t yeah. Tap Sisse, or just have it in your hand. And get Mox Opal, Mox Amber, some zero drop artifact, usually. You don't have to, but assuming you're out of mana. Uh, then cast it. Untap everything, Captain Sisse and all your mana rocks and mana dorks, and then tap them all, go and get something. You can make a bunch of stuff, you know, you can go get, depending on the deck. Oh yeah, they're just going to combo us here with uh, Reservoir, Youthflux Reservoir. Um, let's see. And do they have Forsaken Monument? Not that I can see. Alright. Eventually, after doing that enough times, you net enough mana that you can cast either Ulamog or Emrakul. Um, there is Forsaken Monument. Yeesh. I'm gonna give them the good game. They got me. Fire! We, we got got. We got got. And we only cast one creature that game. So we're at, what, uh, 17 now? 17, there we go. I still think that it's better to have Horror of the Broken Land in the deck. While it's an expensive creature, you're not likely to cast, and if you do, it's probably too late. It cycles for one mana. We just improved our cycling in the deck by two mana, going from three with Void Beckoner, which we're also definitely not going to be able to cast, uh, down to one. Since we don't have a lot of creatures, the Death Touch counter from Void Beckoner isn't all that consequential. Action Jesus! Let me wake up the neighbors real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, yes, we will take it. Action, Jesus. Jesus. Y'all need Jesus. Uh, what you got? I'm wait it's gonna be Soul Sister now. Let's say hello first. Try to be nice. Be a nice neighbor. Oop. Sorry. Well, also, Action Jesus, and they have uh, Aurelia as their profile, uh, as their avatar. Aurelia is an angel, and I believe the only angel that's currently available. I'm pretty sure. Maybe, like, well, Sarah's not an angel. Sarah would be sort of a Jesus figure, though, right? Along with Gideon. And it's a bit of a stretch to say, it's a lot of a stretch to say Elspeth. Yeah, not Elspeth. She gets to be her own. She's a reference to Greek myth. Uh-oh. They might not... They're AFK. Oh, no. Action Jesus is AFK. Oh, dear. Or they might be having connection issues. I've definitely been on the receiving end of that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. I was actually about to pass turn... I had my, I'm over here, like, on the enter key, ready to pass turn. Um, actually, even if I had passed turn, I would, it would have made me discard first. I don't know, even if I passed turn, if they had, no, they didn't have any lands, so the game wouldn't have held for them. Okay. Well, that happens sometimes, I guess. Alright. Alright. Well only four wins and two of them weren't legit. One was an instant concede and the other was that, so that doesn't that doesn't upload too well. Again, 
budget deck, but, you know, still. Alright. Opponent goes first. Uh, the fact that they all come in tapped. But it's okay. Witch's Cottage is a swamp for Castle Lock Thwing. So that's a thing. Ooh, this will make a really powerful vile manifestation. A really powerful one. Holy cow. We can lay on some beats. And Wonder in Depth, too. That's a thing. Oh my goodness. How many is that? Eight for two mana? Okay. Um, well that's a thing. Alright, well we have to be careful about drawing cards. Uh, there is an escape mill card, so let's hang on to cling to dust until that shows itself. Want to be careful about that. Hold on to memory leak. Suffocating fumes will not do anything. So let's look for easy prey. There's vile manifestation. Good, good, good. Excellent. All right. There's an easy prey though. How many do we already have in the yard? Two. And two vials. Ooh, boy. Okay. Alright. Can you kill it? Can you counter it? You can You can counter this and, and you're in good shape. I mean, you're at the magic number. Three. Counter with surveil. This is historic after all. So, in Kaladesh Remastered... Oh, jeez. In Kaladesh Remastered, there is a counter spell, I think it's called Disallow. You can counter a spell, or you can counter an activated or triggered ability. It's pretty good. Uh, there's another one called, there, I mean, it's, it's, Absorb is really good. Uh, it, so it's having to compete with Absorb. The Surveil one is okay. It, it at least gives you some reach through your deck. And they put it back in my hand. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, not that. 32. Ooh. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Can I find Wander, please? That would be nice. Wait, how many cards are in their hand? It doesn't matter. We need to actually. Kill. It's tap they're tapped out. We need to try to get a creature down. Huh. Huh. Pass. Easy prey would be nice. No more suffocating fumes. Pretty please. Okay. Oh, there's another okay. Well, Wander and Death. Is that... yeah, okay. Just another land. Alright, Mo three Mogus Favor. If we had enough mana, we could use it to actually kill the dude. But we don't. Wander. Alright. Um, fire. Wait a minute. How many do I have? 23? This is gonna seem a little unusual. We're gonna attack Jace. Aha! Alright, can you counter it? No, not yet. Not yet. We're getting there. Not yet. How many do I have left? Still 23, of course. Um, but it's effectively 17. Draw, Jace, Ruin Crab. I'm assuming they have another land. If I place the Mogus Favor on it right now... Oh, it doesn't matter, because I, I need to have uh, six mana to cast that twice. Oh boy. Okay. Last turn. Instead, we can cycle so that we can make it lethal. This single Vile Manifestation, making it lethal. Alright, where's Brazen Borrower? We haven't seen you yet. I assume that's what they're waiting on here. Because that's an instant that I know that they would have, right? If they're playing Unsummon, they're playing they're playing a uh, Brazen Borrower. For, for crying out loud.
Oh boy, now it's big enough. We don't even need to cycle. We're not going to cycle, as it turns out. We are definitely not cycling here now. Okay. Can you counter it? Alright. Choose two target- Aha! I like it. I like it. Alright. I had to try. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm going crazy, folks. Alright. Wand uh, wander in death, and then double vile manifestation. If I can find a land, I can do all that. If I can find a land, I can go wander and vile in the same turn. That would be nice, and indeed, I had a land off the top. Alright. There's Crab. Everyone say hi to double Mr. Krabs. Ah. Uh... Is that just game? Even if I have it. Right. Well, I guess let's make them do it. Wander in death. One, two. The other one could have been Archfane. I don't suppose it really matters. Alright. Counter it. I dare you. Alright. <sighs> even if they didn't unsummon it, even I could only kill up to one Ruin Crab, and the other would get me. Yeah. I'm gonna say good game. They got me. They got me good. Alright. And then they get to draw a card, see if they find a land. Do you have it? Things that don't matter. I'll take things that don't matter. Wait, 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 wait. Land first. Just in case. Counter spells, after all. Okay. Now, for the love of God, please. How, I don't even know how many uh, prey pawns or easy preys I have. Keep saying prey upon. One, two, three, four. Yep, so I can't find another one. And I, even if I had triple suffocating fumes, we're not able to do. Oh, wait a minute. If I had cast Mogus Favor on one of these. Oh no, it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm dead here anyway. But if I had cast Mogus Favor that turn, then I could play the two from the graveyard to kill a Ruin Crab so that I could swing through. I just missed it. I, I should have done it. Didn't end up mattering. Even if I had done that, they just played a second blocker there. I'm just trying to think of all the different ways. You know what? Speaking of... Whee! Good game. That's one way to concede, right? Oh, is it not get- there it goes. There it goes. Alright, whale. Whale. So, that's the deck. We'll play a slightly more competitive deck next time. I promise. I promise you. <laughs> It'll be a three color deck with more going on. And... We- it's still kind of budgety, but not really. <laughs> Significantly less budget, I suppose. One more look at the deck real quick while I'm at it, and then we'll open some packs. Alright. Um, so, things I would do to improve it. Uh, I think it's safe to say that the deck needs more removal, and Blood Chief's Thirst is good, uh, because it just deals with a creature or Planeswalker if we get that far along. Mogus Favor, while it does work if it's in the yard and it gives us something to do for removal, I don't need three. I could work. I could use the two mana destroy target creature or enchantment. I, it does cost some life, and we don't have ways to gain life in this deck. But that is another thing that you can do. Uh, otherwise, you don't have anything going on against enchantments at all, and it gives you more creature removal. And it doesn't care how big the creature is. Similarly to kick uh, blood chief's thirst. Um, so thought seize is another card you could use. Uh, yeah, I have only one. Otherwise, I would run more. This is one of the best black cards ever printed. Uh, 
It cycles, so we keep it in the deck, but it's been underperforming. Now granted, we came across more mud than I usually do. I usually come across lower to the ground. I didn't come across auras a single time. Tribal decks, a single time. Came across mono red. Uh, but this does nothing against mud, and actually that's an issue with a lot of the deck. Uh, cards like Suffocating Fumes and Easy Prey don't work against decks like that. Well, we did get Goblins, so we did see a tribal deck. Uh, but Goblins is sort of its own thing. It's doing its own thing. Uh, yeah, this is fine, but it's dead in so many matchups. So I want to be careful about that. Unburden is the best non-creature cycler in the deck. Wonder and Death is pretty far up there, too. Memory Leak is bad Thoughtseize. You would play more Thoughtseize here. But it cycles for one. It's another one cycler. Like Horror of the Broken Lands, which is just there to cycle. You can use it as a win con. We never got to the point where we could. Uh, we couldn't slow the opponent down enough. Archfiend of Ifnir is actually a creature. It's actually able to slow them down. Uh, the ability doesn't do too much if they don't have creatures. Um, but being able to wipe a board clean by doing what you're already doing is pretty nice. And even if they do have creatures left, this thing flies. So that's pretty nice. It, it's a serious win con, I suppose. Woe Strider. It's another escape card that's here because we're filling our yard so quickly. This would not be here otherwise. Uh, so, this is unnecessary. This is unnecessary. It's cute, but unnecessary. Some number of Hollow One might be right since we're doing so much cycling. But realistically, because we don't have a whole lot of one cycling going on, it just turns this in into a four, maybe three mana four four. I don't know that that's good enough. So Hollow One might actually end up getting cut. It does have miscellaneous utility, like it gets past Ugin's middle ability, but miscellaneous utility is not... It actually, it, it is a card against Ugin. It doesn't die to Ghostfire either. But that's not... I don't know that that's enough to make it worthy of being played. Uh, so a more optimal version of this list would include, at most, one Mogus Favor. You want more removal, whatever you choose. I choose Blood Chief's Thirst. You can also go for the... Uh, uh, what's it called? Eat away the the two mana creature enchantment removal. What it, whatever floats your boat. Though bear in mind we don't have any life gain and we do already have thought seas. More thought seas. Um, Woe Strider goes. Sarcophagus goes. Hollow One goes. We would run more Archfiend if we had them. And uh, Memory Leak is like some of these. I'm a little iffy on. The it's either that they cycle pretty well and they're the card itself is bad or the card is okay, and it cycles expensively. Uh, you know, the, the card here is fine, Unburdened is fine. Alright, so that's that's this deck. If you want to try something out, if you have any, any ideas for it, by all means, let me know. But if your idea is play more colors, don't worry, we're getting there. But for now, let's open a pack. Let's see what Zendikar Rising has in store for us this time around. Actually, I, I like what's going on here. I play this, I play this. Alright, and then I play this. It's not my first. Okay, well, I don't... In Constructed, outside of Brawl, I don't think I would be running more than one. So... I don't... I don't know. Could you? Maybe there's some big green deck that can take advantage of this in Standard. Maybe? Um, but it's having to compete with other five drops like Elder Gargaroth. Um, I, I don't know. Alright, so that's it. Uh, I guess we'll see. Which one am I getting now? I guess we'll do one more quick thing. Which one am I getting now? The, the one that's good. We're gonna get the, the red card that's good here. Alright, take care Magic Community. I will wait for the server. Insert elevator music here. Uh-oh, did we break arena? Did arena break arena? Hmm. That was weird. Error spending orbs. Error getting back to the screen we were previously on. That's all right. It's still Magic the Gathering, and the game is free. At least it is for me. So, 
I can live with this. You know what, I don't know if it's going to finish in time, so uh, I'm just going to say I'll catch you all later. See you on the, in the next video. Bye-bye. Um, oh, now you do- oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no, what happened? Where did everything go? Are we good now? Okay. I kind of want to stay on out of morbid curiosity. If it doesn't work, maybe I just need to close the program. I suppose. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. I'm gonna take that as a... Or I'm gonna... T Whoa. It says my internet's still connected, so... Alright. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye. Why did I just be in the robot? Okay, that doesn't work. Morbid curiosity. What the heck is going on here? I keep saying bye. I keep having to see. Maybe this time? Okay. Alright, we're good. Adios.